Hey everybody, welcome to Daddy Cooks. No, this is not a cooking video. This is a, uh, what should I call this? Uh, Daddy's Tech Tips. This is a Daddy Tech Tip. Can Daddy cook? Mm -hmm. What I want to show you is how to make a really nice thumbnail using TubeBuddy. All right, because this is what I use and I'm in the process of uh, changing all my thumbnails so I can get a whole, you know, everything uniform on my channel. But this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, well, first I got to do, I am using OBS. I'll leave a link to this too, <laughs> open broadcasting uh, uh, software. Um, so first I'm going to have to share my screen and forgive the lighting. It's not all about me and me. This is about what I'm talking about here, guys. So first of all, let me share my screen. I'm going to do that. All right, now I'm gonna minimize this and let's see if this works. <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. All right, this is the video here, the stuffed pork loin that I wanna change. This is the theme that I'm going with now, black and white, um, I'm sorry, a uh, black and gold font, or well, a gold font with a black uh, background and then my emblem and then a nice photo. So what I'm gonna do into in here, go to edit, Info and settings. Let that load. All right, now, right here, because I have TubeBuddy, see TubeBuddy is activated. I'll leave a link to TubeBuddy if you guys are interested. Um, I'm gonna hit create thumbnail. And now it asks me what type of background would I like for the thumbnail. Here, a still frame from the video, which I'm gonna use, a solid color or an image. If you took your food porn photos and you got a really nice picture, you want to go from an image. All right, make sure you know where you saved it on your computer. This is an older video of mine and my computer crashed, so I don't have a photo here in Parts Unknown. I do have some uh, backup footage at home. Anyway, I'm taking a still from my uh, actual video. Let that load. Let me turn off the audio. We don't need that. All right, now I'm going to find an image. Let me pause this real fast. I'm going to find an image at the end where I put my food porn photos. There you go, right at the end. All right, I'm also going to put it at 1080p. Well, I'm putting it at 720 because my internet's really slow here. And uh, once this catches up, uh, I'm going to pause right now because my internet's slow. Once this catches up, I will uh, edit this video. All right, I am at the part where I'm looking for where I want to get my photo from. Hope that made sense. So I'm going to start the video playing. That's good footage. I just want to find a point where I want, that's nice, a point where I want to pause for my photo. That's what I'm looking for. Right about, no, nope, I don't like that angle. Ooh, I like that right there. How was that? That's a good photo. Let me back it up just a little more. Back up just a little bit. Try that again. Not that shot. Right there. You see that? Got that in the foreground. I got that, uh, it's a little bit blurry. That's nice. That's the spot I'm going to use. So I'm going to hit continue at this point. Now that's my photo for my thumbnail. All right. Now from here, I already have a template made that you can save. You see, I said save layers as template down here. Whatever you make, if you hit that, it'll save it as a template. But I'm going to use my template here because I want it to be the same. My template has my logo here. And then it has my text, which is hidden behind. Let me move this back. All right. These are my shapes. And then below, behind the shapes is my actual text. So let's go send to the back. You see what I'm saying? So I have a black background and then the words. The title of this video is Stuffed Pork Loin. Three words. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move these over here. I'm going to get rid of, you know what, 
strike that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. I'm not going to get rid of my logo though because I want to keep it that size. All right, first thing I want <clears throat> is my text. I've already decided what I want. So I'm going to text. Luckiest guy is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use extra large. I'm going to use yellow. All right, and also have it set up so it's outlined in white. But you can play with these. You can pick your font. You can pick the size. You can pick your colors and all that. Bold, underline, and all of that. <clears throat> so I've already selected mine. And there it is. So I enter my text here. I just delete all of this. Gonna backspace out and delete. And it's gonna be stuffed pork loin. I'm gonna use three words. So stuffed, that's kind of big. So I'm gonna bring that down to there. And now you just click off of it. You can move it wherever you want. I'm going to put it right here. Stuffed. Or am I going to put it here? I'm going to put it here. Stuffed. All right. And I'm going to do it again. Text. I've already got the same setting, so i got to do hit add. Change to what I want it to say. Pork. Click off of it. Grab it. Move it where I want. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to make a loin really big right down here. I'm going to change it to XX. Oh, let me get out of that. Sorry. New word. Text. I want it double XL. Add. And this is going to be loin. L-O-I-N. Hope you guys are with me so far. Stuff, pork, loin. Let me move pork down too, just a little bit. That'll work. All right, now I want to put my background because you see how that looks kind of, kind of plain. So I'll go to shapes. Once again, you can pick your color and then you can pick your shapes. I'm going to go with a square. Now I can manipulate this. Once you click on it, you can manipulate it to any size or any, uh, you know, shape, long, short, or whatever. So now I'm just going to make this match just over the size of my words. Stuffed. All right. Now I'm just going to take this layer and send it to the back. Boom. So now I got some background to my word. So it makes it pop. Okay, now all I have to do that again. Click off. Shapes. I already got my stuff selected as far as color. Pick my shape again. Add. And I'll do the same thing with pork. Bring it down. So it just borders it. Just like that. And then I'll check my sizing and my placements in the back. That's a little bit big. Just a little more. Try that. Move the back. There we go. Pork. And the last one is my loin. We still got more to do, guys. Bear with me. I just want to do this from scratch so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Bring my size down just a little bit. Just a, just a little, bring it up just a little bit. Let's try that. No, not quite. A little bigger. Bear with me, folks. All right, I think that'll work. Now, what I'm going to do at this point, guys, so now that I'm happy with it, you guys like that? I think that's a little long. Anyway, now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to hit continue. 
Now it's generated my uh, thumbnail. All right, now I'm going to hit save and publish. And this is going to actually, are you sure you want to publish this thumbnail? Yes, this is going to actually publish it to the video, but I'm not quite finished yet. All right, now that it's been published, uh, and it might take a little while for it to show up in your actual video, but not too long. Now what I do, guys, is because I want to enhance that picture. So I'm going to download that thumbnail that we just made. Where do I want it to go? I don't even care what it's called. It's, I got it going into my pictures. Okay. Now that it's saved, I'm going to open it. Whatever photo software you use, it doesn't matter. What I do is I just enhance the photo. I go into the uh, 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 photo editor. I'm just going to hit enhance. See how I made the colors pop just a little bit more and then brighten it up. It just made it a little bit more pretty. Okay, I'm going to save that photo. Right over where it was before. Now it's prettier than the uh, original. Now it's brighter, prettier. Now, I'll just close this. I'm going to go into change image. I'm going to find that photo. There it is. And that's what I'm going to change the image with. Open. While this is uploading, take a look at the original. See what the original one looks like? Once this uploads, I'll show you what it's been changed to. There it is. See how pretty that is? Now let's go to the actual. We're going to go back. Hold on just a second. Let it finish saving. Sorry. All right. Now that it's saved, don't forget to hit save, y'all. Now I'm going to go back to my listing of videos. Let's scroll down to where I selected it from. And there it is. Stuffed pork loin. All right, my new photo, my new picture, my new everything. All right, guys, so I hope, let me get out of this and bring you back. All right, let me close that, close that, transition. All right, guys, I hope <clears throat> that this was helpful. Um, that's how I use TubeBuddy to make a nice pretty consistent thumbnail all right guys if you have any questions feel free to put it down into the description box uh, i'll leave a link to tubebuddy if you're interested i'll also leave a link to obs this software that i'm using uh, to broadcast or oh, to record this i'm not broadcasting um yeah so there it is if you guys like things like this let me know i also have another channel called Arbop, British Book of Philosophy, where I have a lot of helpful hints on making videos. I'll leave a link to that as well. Um, if you like what I'm doing, guys, just, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Click the bell icon. Turn on your notifications. Thanks a lot. I'll see you when I see you. Can daddy cook?